Hello and welcome to another Excel training video with Rich Kerr. In this scenario we'll be looking at the payment function in Excel to determine the amount of a monthly payment on a typical car loan. So to set this up I've got some basic labels in column A and then some data in column B. We've got the car price, the down payment, and the trade-in. We will be computing the loan amount or the principal that you're borrowing and then we've got an interest rate, uh, number of monthly payments at 36, and then we'll be figuring out the monthly payment in cell B10. So uh, go ahead and pause the video and set up your model to look like this, and uh, start it back up and we'll do our calculations. Okay, in cell B5 I need to determine what the amount is that I need to borrow. So we'll do some basic math here, we'll start with equals. Yeah, let's say the car price is 50000 and sell B1. We'll subtract B2, the down payment, and subtract B3, the trade-in value. Uh, so that 50000 car price minus the down payment minus the trade-in leaves us with 35000 as the amount we need to borrow. And we'll say for this scenario that we've got an interest rate of 4.75% and we're making 36 payments or three years on our loan. So let's go to cell B10 and we'll start with the equal sign as we always do with a formula in Excel and in this case I'll use the payment function PMT and you can see from the tooltip that this calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. We'll do an open paren after our function and we can see from the helper that we need to indicate the rate now for this function, the rate would be the rate per period. So since I'm paying 4.75% annually, but I make 12 payments a year, we'll take cell B7 and divide by 12 for that input of the formula. So it's that annual rate divided by 12, as that's the number of payments per year. And then to advance to the next function, we type a comma, and the next input or argument is the number of periods or payments for the loan. And I've got that in cell B8. So we're making 36 payments. And then comma PV, the present value. Well, we figured that out to be 35,000 in cell B5. So I will select B5 as the value for PV. Now the next two arguments are optional. Uh, future value, you could enter a value for... Uh, a balloon payment if I wanted to have a, an amount left on the loan after 36 payments that I'd be making as a balloon payment at the end I could do so with future value uh, and then the type argument is to indicate with a 0 or a 1 if you're making your payment at the beginning of the loan period or at the end and the default is 0 for paying at the end so I'm going to leave those out of the equation I, I won't be leaving a balance on the loan and I'm going with the default of paying at the end. So we'll do a close paren to finish our formula uh, as all functions are followed by a pair of parentheses and we know parentheses are always in pairs so we want to make sure we close that off. We hit the enter key and there is our monthly payment $1,045.06 <laughs> and there was likely an accountant sitting next to the programmer who wrote this function as they're showing it as an outflow which might be fine, but uh, if you wanted to use that value with a positive version of that number, um, you could do so by converting it into, the, into its positive value using the ABS function. So if I double click that cell to edit it and put that payment formula inside the parentheses of the ABS or absolute value function, that will convert it to a positive. Thank you so much for watching and please come again soon for more videos. Have a great day.